What's up guys, Daisy or Gimme here today and I will be showing you guys a video on the MDR. Just kill these guys real quickly. Alright, so you can already see how much this thing jumps. Let's see if it does well in a weapons test, as well as, you know, get 25 meters away from it. So here's me just shooting at full auto. You can see pretty bad. So here's me controlling it straight to fire. Still really bad. So that's the pre-test. Now let's get in and check the weapon itself. It has 35 base damage, 650 round uh, rounds per minute, 20 round magazine, 7.62 ammo, 3.5 second reload. Single shot and full auto, I'm guessing it has an option for burst. It does have an option for burst. Hard hitting, lightweight, bullpup, difficult to control, high range and damage. So now here's its upgrades, plus one accuracy, plus one damage, plus four range and plus two reload. Plus three to range, plus one to damage and plus four to accuracy. And then it also has plus two to reload speed. Plus two to range, plus two to mobility, and plus two to handling. Its passive bonuses are after a kill, plus five damage, after a kill, plus ten mobility, and after a kill, plus ten handling. Um, it can use the 762 control shield, compensator, flash, hider, muzzle brake, suppressor, hive silencer, etc. Magazines are extended mag or standard mag. Its standard magazine only holds 20 rounds, so extended holds 25. Um, its muzzles are right here, I already went over those. Its rails are the AT Pile 3, the Maul, the Peck, the Roll Cover, and the Range Finder. Here are all the scopes. It's going to be the TA31H, the Panoramic, the Folding Iron Sight. The EXPS3, the EXP3XG3, the digital site, and the Comp M4 site. Has auto single trigger or auto burst. And then here's the Sunder Barrels. The angled foregrip, bullpup under barrel grenade launcher, the grip pod, the vertical foregrip angled, the Russian vertical, Russian vertical foregrip, Oh, RVG vertical foregrip, the shift angled short grip, the shift vertical foregrip, the STFG angled grip, tactical vertical foregrip under rail, and the vented angled foregrip. And here's my weapon. So now I will test it again. Now with all these upgrades. Here's me shooting at full auto from 25 meters. A lot straighter. Still kind of goes up. Now let's see how it is with me controlling it. it. Still jumps quite a bit, but it was mostly like within a circle. So there you guys go. That is the weapon review for the MDR. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.